All right, everybody. Uh, welcome. My name is Robert Gelfand. I go by Gel513. This is night five of Spooktacular Scarathon, and once again, I have had to kind of make a change in plans on the fly. I had originally intended for this to be a double feature stream, uh, kicking it off with Friday the 13th. It was going to be like my first night playing it. I intended to like just do the tutorial like an hour or so beforehand, but what was me? Um, the servers are down. Uh, it seems like everybody, just like me, since we got this game on PS Plus um, this week for free, wanted to try it tonight, um, and the servers were just not ready. Apparently, I looked on Twitter, uh, and the dev developer said it's an issue with like uh, Amazon Web Services um, for Friday the 13th, so they said they're talking with Amazon about that. Maybe it'll be up later tonight. If it is, I'd love to check it out. Um, but in the meantime, we're here, gonna do some Dead by Daylight, um, gonna get going in just a sec here. Post on Insta real quick that I'm live, I might as well start a lobby. Um, Fun fact, the Michael Myers mask in the first Halloween movie was originally a William Shatner Captain Kirk mask, um, and they just fucked it up and painted it white. Um, I think it's different, it's been tweaked slightly since then, but in the first movie it is, uh, it is, it is, uh, Shatner. Um, so yeah, real bummer about Friday the 13th not working tonight, uh, but... We'll, ha we'll have to have it up and running sometime during October. We will do it. I will keep an eye on it. Um, and then this weekend will just be Until Dawn. Um, I'm going to try and kill every survivor. Because actually, I feel like it's way easier to get through that game keeping everyone alive or most people alive than to kill them all. You have to like go out of your way to kill them. Like They make it really obvious when like you, you would die. Um, so I want to see what happens when you kill everybody and like make mean awful dialogue choices because I kind of went through as like a paragon first time uh, so I want to you know have fun with it a bit um, I have not played that game since it came out so I've forgotten a lot of the particular moments here and there um, I remember the like larger story beats um, it's funny at that time like Rami Malek has become such a huge fucking star uh Hidden Pen and Tears is like still a thing, I guess. Um, I would totally do an Until Dawn sequel. They have that VR game, but I don't have uh, PlayStation VR. I would check that out. Like they have a, they have one that's like an on rail shooter, but then they have that uh, the Inpatient or whatever. It's a prequel set in the fifties um, at the uh, hospital you go to in part of that game. And her, that's like fucking dope as hell. I would definitely check that out. Um, so yeah, I haven't played this in over a week now. Let's see how rusty I am. If this fucking thing ever loads. I am on Ethernet, so who who knows? Let's do it.
guys. Ah, oh, fuck. Come on, almost at three. Oh, man, you guys are fucked. You guys are so fucked. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Where should we place you, sir? Are you kidding me? We were right there. Yes, perfect. <laughs> yes. What's she gonna do? Let's do it. Let's have a party. Come on down, everybody. Someone's around here. Where the fuck did they go? What's up? Yep. Hi. What's up? How you doing? How you doing? Hey. Hey. Yeah. I'm looking at you. Oh man. That's two. Who else? Who else wants to party in the basement with Michael Myers? We got Bobbin for apples, pin the tail on the donkey. We're gonna make string popcorn. It's gonna be great, you guys. Oh fuck, did I actually get them all up? Red marks everywhere.
Oh, what the fuck? How did that happen? Did she bleed out or something? That's one down. Bye bye, Lori. Yeah, this guy's fast. Oh, we're almost there. Yeah, they're probably not like they don't have the key, like they're not really doing these generators. Kind like they kinda are. They must be looking for the key. Oof, right in the fucking face. That was beautiful. It was just like boom, you're done. That was like a destiny melee. Maybe they're taking out the hooks. I was really paying attention. There don't seem to be that many. Come on. Oh, I never got him before. All right. See you behind there, motherfucker. Hey, you tried. Fuck, where did he go? Okay. There we go. That was good, actually. He was pretty well camouflaged. That like dark jacket or whatever, vest, whatever, it really blended in well there. But alas, it is time to go up on this hook. Oh, steady there. Sing it for me. What's up, bruh? Oof. Rough. Oh. Wow. That's lame. Ah! Nope. How's it going, dude? That's rough. That's real rough. I always hate it when people disconnect. Wow. I'm just like, I'm a fortune teller. I see the future. <laughs> Gotta love them rage quitters. Are you just gonna chill? Thanks, dude. That's cool. Appreciate it. Good sport. Actually, I'd prefer you actually go and hide, but whatever. 
Let's see if he'll disconnect just to be a dick. That'd be pretty funny, actually. If you, like, let me get him with him disconnected. Nice, just like a smooth kind of New Yorker power walk. I like it. He's feeling it. He's like moving the shoulders. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good kill run. Um, this uh, new Halloween movie is only taking the first movie as canon. Every other movie, even Halloween Two, is uh, not considered canon in this new one, which is interesting because um, minor spoilers. Cover your ears if you don't know. No Halloween movie twists. In two, it's revealed Michael and Laurie are related, uh, and that kind of twist like fueled the series like for the rest of the movies, except for Halloween three season the witch because it wasn't related uh, going forward. Uh, and then it had like Halloween H two H twenty, and then whatever the one after that one was where she was in the insane asylum and he kills her there. Like there are a lot of like different canons. Like Laurie was like in Halloween's like four through six. Like Laurie was dead, and it was like all about her like young daughter. Um, then, like, you know, they brought her back for each 20, and then they scratched the whole daughter angle, and she had Josh Hartnett as her son, uh, and LL Cool J was there. Um, 90s were weird. Do one more with him, and then we'll switch it up. Um, not ready quite yet, though. Um, that's always fun. Um, really make him feel alone. Let's buy some shit. So, between Bioshock not allowing streaming at all, and um, Friday the 13th servers being down, we've had not the greatest luck, but I think it's still been pretty fun this first week so far. Uh, Amnesia Dark Descent was really fun, I'm glad we did that. Uh, I feel silly having taken so long on some of the puzzles. Um, but uh, we finished that late last night, I had to take a break when we were pretty close to the end. Um, but then I came back for like about almost 40 minutes and we finished it. Just have to topple three pillars at the end. It's surprisingly not very involved at the tail end of that game. Um, and then I've been playing some more Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise. That game is fun as hell. Uh, it's a super niche crowd is going to be into that. You have to be into the Yakuza games and then also kind of know and care about or be interested in learning about what Fist of the North Star is, because that's super niche in the West. Um, but if you're into one or both of those things, it is a really fun time. And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's been a good palate cleanser for the creepier stuff, too, when uh, things like Resident Evil 7 and um, Amnesia got spooky. Uh, coming up next week, um, after Until Dawn, I'm thinking Alien Isolation. That'll probably take up a good bit of the week, where uh, I'll have to really marathon some nights. Because that game is involved, and I don't want to skip cutscenes or anything, because I like the story. Um, I want to play on maybe a higher difficulty, I'm not sure, though. That Xenomorph is fucking smart. That AI is really great. Completely the opposite of uh, Colonial Marines. Man, we just cannot get a fourth here. Put out a Craigslist ad, maybe.
Like, I don't want to start with three, because that's not fair for them. It's good the game's not doing it, I guess. Um, well, you know, I feel really shitty doing this, but uh, we're going to create a new lobby. Sorry, three other people. Uh, that was taking too long. I'm impatient like that. Come on. Let go. This is way fucking easier. Like, what the hell? Do it. Are you? What's up? Yeah, I don't think you know how my power works. Unless that was some lag, which it looked like it might have been. And they're going off on that one. Hi.
Alright. She's fast even crawling, damn. She got some speed boost things going. Seriously, two disconnects? What the fuck happened? Was that... I guess that was her. Maybe going for trophies, or maybe just didn't wanna... I don't know. Why'd the other person disconnect, though? It was just a bad connection. I want to actually beat four people. Like, I get it, I did like catch her, but you know. it's fun, like the cat and mouse. Like this. I'm just checking them out from a distance, waiting for my moment. Like when I fill that meter. Unless that was a crow, it might have been a crow. Uh, there's something here. Yep, there we go. Hey. Like, okay, whatever. Good game, guys. This was fun. And also insanely fucking quick. I think it was about the same amount of time we were waiting in that first lobby for this uh, second mount uh, match. Whatever. Unless they can get themselves off the hook. Now, if only they had dance emotes. It's not a competitive multiplayer game until I can bust a groove in the front of this person. Okay, um, let's switch it out. I have not even tried Freddy yet, so fuck it. This might go real bad, I might totally suck ass with Freddy, but um, let's at least give myself a fighting chance here by buying things. Um, Bro. 
remember me. I just think of Bender from Futurama with that one. Um, Skill check chances. Let's get fucking Dungeons and Dragons on our ass. Holy shit. The survivor's gonna have to fucking roll a d20. That actually seems pretty good for not being good with him. Um, all right. Seriously, Nether Realm, make a horror fighting game. Like you've already put so many horror characters into Mortal Kombat, just do a full-on video game for horror characters. It would be so amazing. Oh, it would be so great. Mm. Capcom wants to make another Darkstalkers. That would be dope as well. But um, Apparently, the only reason Street Fighter V even happened is because Sony agreed to pay for a good bit of the development. That's partially why it's like a console exclusive on, a, on the main reason why it is a console exclusive uh, for PS4. Uh, like, that's fucking crazy that Capcom wouldn't have like thought, yeah, eventually one day we will definitely make Street Fighter V. Like, how was that not a given? Even though what Street Fighter V ended up being was kind of a big fucking disappointment at launch if you weren't a tournament player. That game still does not reward your time or your money very well, though. And I don't even have it installed anymore. It's a bummer because I love Street Fighter. And, like, the core fighting of that game is solid. It's just... They nickel and dime you so fucking much, and you can't even earn fight money offline. Whereas, like, you look at Tekken 7, you buy that game, it's like, yeah, we got fuck tons of costumes, you just earn that shit with in-game money, which we dole out to you in a million different ways, and you can do that all. And, like, it's kind of night and day, the difference between how those DLCs work. Like, Tekken has season passes. Uh, but, like, the costumes, for the most part, just you earn that shit in-game. It's refreshing. Um, what else did I do today? Start playing Destiny 2, because um, that was free on PSN last month for PlayStation Plus members. Um, hadn't installed it before today. Ooh, really thick today out here. This is some, like, extra spooky fog. I like it. Um... And uh, it was kind of, anyway, Destiny was kind of reminding me why I uh, didn't really play much of Destiny after the first year of Destiny 1. And I know it got better with Taken King and all that, but that first year was just such a boring grind. It kind of burned me out on the whole thing. Uh, it does seem like they definitely made improvements in the sequel, but it's still, I feel like it's ultimately just not the kind of game I'm looking to play. Um, it is absolutely the kind of game other people are looking to play, though. I fully acknowledge that. But, uh, one criticism I definitely have, the trophy list sucks if you're just trying to earn some shit. I've earned one so far, and it was, like, hours and hours of gaming to do it. They have, like, 13 trophies in the base game, including the Platinum. Or, no, not including the Platinum. Fuck. Um, the other thing I learned that uh, Forsaken DLC they just came out with. That was quick. Um, it's all about like the death of Cade 6 and whatnot. Like, they're not even holding that back as a spoiler. Like, it's been the whole marketing campaign behind it. Um, 
Nathan Fillion was too busy, unfortunately, to even voice Cade Six for the expansion, and it's just like this whole thing is supposed to be this emotional journey about like avenging his death. And you can't even get the actor who plays him in or work around his schedule. And the actor that got to replace him, Nolan North, is of course amazing. But at the same time, straight up, Nolan North already replaced Peter Dinklage in this shit. Uh, oh, fuck. How do you even do... Um, is someone already disconnected? Is it me? Am I making people disconnect? Uh, someone's fucking behind me. There's like, how many actors... Anyway, how many actors on uh, De in Destiny is Nolan North going to replace? It just seems a little weird. Uh, not that I don't love him, because I do. He's amazing. Uh, he just be in a lot of shit. Right, have to be in the dream world to hurt them. I forgot. I fucking go for this though. They are probably gonna get out of here. If they find the key, I'm fucked. Okay, so that means she's in the nightmare. Got it. Okay, there we go. Interesting. Yep, first time I'm playing this is killer. I get it, I'm not good. Sucks someone disconnected though. I thought they got her down. <laughs> this is such a weird mechanic. It's really interesting, though. It's like, okay, so I can't hurt them, but I can break these fucking barriers, which are somehow in the dream world and the real world at the same time. I get it. They had to, like, you know, Freddy, like, kills you in your dreams. That's how it works. Like, you can't have him just be a regular slasher like Jason or Michael, but it's still odd. Video game conceits. There we go. 
Okay. <laughs> I like that little animation. Alright, at least I'm like getting a better feel for how fuck you, Freddy works. But uh he is they labeled him hard, they're right, he's hard. Uh he's much more tactical and challenging to use. Definitely interesting character design though. But no cigar. Those jorts did not help. Even if uh, the rest of them escape, I'm, I think I'm going to try another round with uh, Freddy. Just because I want to get more than one in. He's actually pretty interesting. I don't think I'm going to use him that often, but definitely unique. Interesting uh, reach and hitbox with those claws, I'm not going to lie. I would have thought I'd miss on that. It was quite the lunge. They changed the uh, struggling animation, it seems like. for it to rescue this guy. Bold. Oh, and the hash is right here. That's interesting. All these ashes in the sky really make it a lot more challenging, I feel like, too, to suss out what's what, who's who. Dick. Alright, well, we got one of them. Good game. I'm honestly not feeling the worst about that for first ever attempt with a harder character, but uh, we'll give it another go, see how we do.
sack and I'll be right with you. Pretty cool. Uh, oh, what the? What is going on with my controller here? It's uh, New York Comic Con this week, and I've gone the last two years, um, but I just need a, a year off. Um, just because it can be kind of stressful navigating that Javits Center space. I felt like last year, 2016, I felt like they had a good layout. Last year, I felt like it was really bad. Like, uh, for example, one of my favorite things to see at the Comic Con is like they call it Artist Alley. Um, and uh, 2016 they had this whole bright you know huge room for all the artists uh, like off to another wing and it was a bit more of a walk uh, and then last year they brought it down into like a basement area closer to the main area I'm guessing maybe the thinking was you know more foot traffic would go that way but honestly like one there was no AC down there so it was sweltering like in a basement with a bunch of sweaty people trying to walk around and look at art. The lighting was poor, and then there were way fewer, there was way less space for people to set up. So it just felt like a really shitty, truncated version of that. Um, and then it was like, the coolest thing was to get to play game demos, I think, and then I had some exclusive merch. Um, like, I got a really cool Dark Souls 3 shirt, which might be available now elsewhere, but um, at the Namco Bandai booth, that was really cool. Um, like, game demos are probably my favorite thing about it. Like, otherwise, it's, like, tons of stores selling shit you can realistically get for way cheaper on Amazon. Um, like, everything is just pop figures. It's, like, walls and walls of pop figures. Um, the other thing that's popular to sell over there is, like, I'm sure that's true for a lot of cons, is, um, like, random boxes, like, full of shit, like, different themes sometimes. Like, I got a Rick and Morty one last year. Um, but, like, those are very you know, mixed in quality with what you get. Like, one of the things I got in the box wasn't even related to Rick and Morty at all. It was, like, yet another attempt to be, like, a collectible kind of thing. It was, like, the most random thing. It was, like, it was trying to make famous characters, but, like, imagining them as different kinds of, like, anthropomorphic food. So, for example, the one I got was Peter Venkman from Ghostbusters as a slice of fucking pizza. Um, so I got a piece of Ghostbusters pizza figurine. Uh, that was pretty weird. Um, oh, fuck. I completely forget how this goddamn character works. Still, I need to be better about it. What is... What, what was that guy doing? Um, it's also just like foot traffic there is terrible uh, like they have this they have signs everywhere saying like please don't take pictures in like the like aisles and like lanes for people but everyone does it like literally everyone's posing for pictures and it just holds up all the foot traffic and if you're like a New Yorker that shit just if you're someone who likes to walk at any kind of reasonable pace really that shit is just annoying as fuck um 
Like, you're literally just constantly squeezing past people. Um, so it's the kind of thing that's best enjoyed if you're in a group and, like, do not care how slow you go. Um, if you're trying to go with, like, just, you know, a couple people or, or, like, just yourself, it can be a little more frustrating just to deal with all that shit. Um... What is this guy's deal? Um, there's still really cool stuff to see there. Uh, you know, there's tons of celebrities you might run into. Like, you know, I walk, like, just walk in the booth, like, I walk past, like, the Capcom booth, and Yoshinori Ono, creator of Street Fighter, is just there signing autographs. And then, like, fucking a few hundred feet away, Robert Kirkman is given a panel on The Walking Dead. So, like, it is still a really cool atmosphere. Um, but I think it is very pricey just, like, to get it in and then, like, how much are you going to be spending on merch? Uh, and then, like, food that they sell you there. Um, it's a lot. Um, the biggest bummer I'd say is, like, there's a lot of things at that con that, like, companies will show up with, like, exclusive merch, but not to buy, to give away. And the stuff they give away, they literally make, like, none of it. They make, like, so little, it's like, why did you even bother? So the only people who ever get that shit are the people who showed up at the ass crack of dawn on the first day um, and were there to get, like, the tickets, like, for handouts and stuff. Um, but what's annoying is they don't, like, put up signs saying, like, oh, we're all gone. They just, like, have you walk over to the booth and stuff. So they can tell you, like, oh, sorry, yeah, we actually gave all those away, even though they still advertise, like, it's here and stuff like that. Um, I think the reason they do that is they have those, like, giveaways on, like, time ticket releases, like, come back at this time and get your thing. But, like, it's still, why not just put up a sign saying, like, hey, all tickets have been given away. If you don't already have one, we don't have anything for you. Um... The Funko booth, I remember, was hilarious. Like, that thing was... Had more security than Fort fucking Knox uh, anywhere else in the area. Like, it felt like a full-on store got built inside the Javits Center. Uh, line was literally wrapped around the whole square, like, multiple times over. They were not giving any more tickets away to get in. Um, and they were selling, like, tons of exclusive pop figures and stuff. It was a madhouse. Um, I think the hot items were uh, black and white Cuphead and Mugman, um, and a few others, like maybe some of the Overwatch ones. Um, yar. God, this is annoying. They know they can run up and save you, because there's a whole minute. Man, they're all wounded, though. This is pretty funny. I'm definitely doing better keeping up with them this time. Fall asleep, you're getting sleepy. You're getting sleepy. Oof, nice try, girl. You do not have iframes when you do that shit. Get the fuck out of my way. Oh, someone's pretty hungry. Oh, she's dead. Okay. So they're healed up, though. Uh, I might go back for it. Man, they're doing pretty good on these fucking generators, though.
Oh fuck, dude. come on. Weak. Come on, let's do it. Seriously? This is so fucking annoying. Come on, dude, just close the fucking thing. Fuck you. This is so annoying. I hate shit like this. Like, this ring around the rosy bullshit. So annoying. Three of them, oh shit. Ah, oh, fuck, we're going for that one. You're not running me with a lip though this time. Are you gonna do it? No? Really? This? Again? Are you fucking serious? Are you actually gonna- Fucking dick. Congratulations, you got me with it. Like, holy shit. Fine, we're not doing that shit. I'm not letting you just like run circles like anymore, dude. What a douchebag. Seriously? Like, are you fucking... This is the lamest. This is the lamest ever. I hate it. Do something other than run in a goddamn circle. Like, this is just so boring. It's all about like waiting for me to close in. He's gonna drop it on me this time. Okay, like, what else you fucking got? Like... Do you have anything other than doing the exact same goddamn strategy of run in a fucking circle, wait till I get close, and drop this thing on me? Fuck you. Where are we gonna take you now? Uh, that's the closest, I guess. Alright, so the other person escaped, but we got three. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. Three of 
three out of four ain't bad. No one disconnected, so we had a full proper fair match. All right. the spirit tonight. You know, while we're waiting at this loading screen, if it, let me check on Twitter to see about Friday the 13th. If that is back up at all tonight, I will try and play at least a little bit of that. Um, we'll get to it eventually, if not. I'm not super worried about it. This has been fun on its own. Um, Oh, they said it's fixed. Um, all right. So I am down to do at least a couple. I'll do at least this and one more for Dead by Daylight, but then I want to check out Friday the 13th. Um, so I might take a quick break off stream to do the tutorials for that because I have not played at all, and then I will come on uh, with that after we do some more of this. Yay. What's up? It's refreshing to just be able to attack people without having to bring them into the fucking dream world. Oh, it was certainly an interesting strategy. Inter wow. Damn. Alright.
Oh, fuck, come on. Are you serious? There's fucking hooks in that. Fuck, man. There's a hook. I'm wasting time. This might not happen. Oh man, he's gonna get away. Yeah, that was stupid. I probably had a way closer hook I could have gone to. Wow. Clever, actually. If I couldn't hear him, that would have worked. That is some crazy reach on that sword. Hi, I see you. Can I... Can I really not? Bummer, bro. One down. Oh, the uh, person I killed didn't like that I killed them. They uh, said I'm so fucking sad. Oh, and they hope my parents die in a car crash. <laughs> wow, someone salty. Oh man, that's great. That, was, that probably is a flash up for you guys watching. haven't gotten something that spicy in a while not since like the ps3 fighting game days ah oh, so make me all nostalgic for all those times people told me to go kill myself like We're just having fun now. I don't even give a fuck. That's too funny. Um, the player who I killed, their anime profile was also like a little... It looked like she was crying too, like anime, like kawaii anime girl. Um, I'll have to go, I'll have to look later and see what the exact expression was. But uh, that is an interesting choice. Um, not that I have any problem with anime. Uh, it's just, it's a weird thing to be telling somebody. Like, who's more sad? The person who killed you or the person who sent them the hate message? Oh man. Though. 
Maybe if you tiptoe more, I won't see you. Alright. Don't worry, guys. AI isn't gonna kill us all just yet. Clearly, these bots are not smart enough for world domination. Just look at how they play Dead by Daylight. Trading places. Jamie Lee Curtis was in that movie. Man, the sword is just so dope. Oh, and right by hook, you're so nice. So considerate. You're up there. We're gonna get him so he'll just be dead. Where'd he go? Fuck. Oh. That was close. Almost missed him. He took the hook off. That's smart. Uh, but there's still one right here. Out of four. Who's next? Well, we know who's next. Ooh, but they got the key. This just got way more interesting. Let's see if we can find that hatch. There we go. Don't even need to. <laughs> and just like that, that's 4K. GG, as the kids say these days. Toodles! He's out. All right, one more, and then we're going to do Friday the 13th, because the servers are back up, and I'm excited about the double feature actually happening tonight. Yeah, great match. That was a great fucking match. Racked up those blood points for that one. Spend some fucking points. Oh fuck. Get to it.
I wonder what kind of product she puts in her hair. Ectoplasm. Hey, you get that crinkly updo, the constant, it's also constantly wavy. It's 11.10 now, assuming this match doesn't take too long. Um, I'd say I'll be back up with Friday the 13th around midnight, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I need to go for at least a few matches. That is so fucking creepy, I love it. This is a dope map. I didn't see that movie Hellfest, because uh, it kind of looked like shit. But I was happy to see Tony Todd still getting work. Honestly, it's surprising to see this much like bright color on a map, even though it is like I get it, it's like a car creepy carnival. Which way are you gonna go? You can listen to this awesome music while you hang out here. Of 
Cool. There's two. Jukes, man. I know, it was a distraction to get the other person down, but whatever. They'll all die eventually. Get on up. What's up? I was exasperated. I'm a little exasperated myself. That was quite the chase. This is a much more challenging match than we've had thus far. I like it. Everyone's going up on the hills. Give you a nice view. Damn, got hurt. She's finally dead. This is 
giving up. She's like, fuck it. <laughs> Only one generator left. These two other two could make it. They've been putting up a pretty good fight. Doing a good job distracting me. There they are. I'm just gonna take this real quick. Here we go. In the air! From above! Dark Souls, super powerful move. Jump down, hold that R2 button. Oh, we took the long way around, that was stupid. Whatever. And they're gone. Your friend abandoned you. How do you feel about that? When the chips were down, they were just like, yeah, forget her. Three out of four ain't bad, because that was a tough match. Um, and we had some good matches all around, even with uh, Freddy, me figuring out the ropes with him. He's really tough. All right, everybody. Uh, that is going to do it for Dead by Daylight tonight on uh, the Spooktacular Scarathon double feature. I will be back in a little bit with Friday the 13th. Uh, I don't have an exact time yet because I do want to want to make sure it's working. If the servers are down, uh, you know, it won't be. If I'm not up at all, that's because the servers are down. Uh, I'm hoping to be up around midnight, maybe 12.15. I just want to spend some time actually knowing the controls and knowing what the fuck I'm doing. But I'm going to go check that out right now. I will be back in a little bit. Uh, if you can't tune in, that's totally fine. Thank you so much for watching now. Uh, and anyone checking me out on an archive later, uh, thank you as well. I'm Robert Gelfand. I go by Gel513. This has been Night 5 of Spooktacular Scarathon. It's not over yet, um, hopefully. Uh, fingers crossed on those servers. But thank you guys again so much. Uh, and see you later. Peace out.